Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira X-ray tutorial, we are going to discuss briefly about the reports in Jira X-ray. So this will be the last free tutorial in this particular whole series. So which is basically covering most of the aspect of the Jira X-ray. Okay. But then if you are a test manager, test lead or someone who wants to explore more deeper into Jira X-ray, I'll be posting more videos, but obviously they'll be the premium version of this particular course so it will be available to the members so it's a kind of uh, thank you to all the members who are supporting the channel and helping me out to create the free series for the people or the students who are kind of in college and trying to build their career into the software testing industry right so from here on most of the tutorials in this particular series there will be another uh, five to eight more videos that will be part of the premium course and that will be very sort of advanced section of the jira x-ray which is really helpful if you want to learn those sort of concepts it will be really helpful in your project but it will be available to only the channel members or you can buy that course on training.rcvacademy.com so that course will contain all of the content that you have seen till now plus a lot more videos available only to members and available in that particular course so i hope that this series has been really helpful now let's go ahead and understand briefly about the reports in jira x-ray so if we go to the project here okay and go to let's say we are here in the zoho crm sample project so what all reports are present okay so if you go to the report section in the boards here right so in the planning section you will see the reports section here as well so if you click on reports you will see all the reports that are present here will be available here now there are some agile reports which are the jira reports for agile uh, tracking for example the sprint report the burn down burn up charts etc and if you scroll down you will see the separate section for other reports which is the test coverage execution list test plan list test plan metrics run list etc so all of these are the custom reports that get added to your jira instance when you install the x-ray plugin within jira okay and these reports are basically the reports that the test managers test leads or if you are a senior member of the testing team you will be working with with all of these reports in a lot of detail right so for example coverage report is very important report which will give you a traceability matrix automatically all right so we'll be covering all of these sort of uh, the, the major, major reports that will be there helpful for the leads and manager in the premium section of the course as well as we'll also cover some of the administrative functionalities and how you can administer x-ray and your testing within jira x-ray okay so if say for example let's scroll down here you will see once we are in the report section you will see all of these reports here in the left hand side as well so say for example you want to quickly see the test execution list right so simply go to the test execution list and run that particular report and it will show you the test execution lists so you need to select for which particular project you want to filter right so you can specify different filter either in the advanced section you can specify the jql search or in the basic you can select from the simple drop down right so at, at the moment i'll just keep it as a simple project the current project and if you simply click on generate report it will generate a report of all the test execution list with the status that is there for that particular test execution so this is kind of a single place to see all of the execution list and what is the status of those execution list in one particular report you can configure the columns from this drop down so simply click on columns and you can search for the fields that you want to add and see on this particular section here so for example i do not want to see this fixed version i do not want to see revision i do not want to see the begin date and end date i can choose that and simply say for example assignee i want to see and then scroll down and simply click on done 
and you will see that it's only showing the assignee, test environment, defects, etc. All of that in one place. So this is about the test execution list report. Now if you go back and in the report here, you have different reports. So we have seen the execution list. Similarly, you have the test plan list which will list out all the test plans, right? And then you can go ahead with the test plan metrics. Okay, so what this report will do is this report will show a list of test plans with consolidated information for each one including test status count overall progress and test environment related metrics so this is kind of in more detail about the test plan this is just to show you the list of the test plan this is this execution list is to show you the list of the execution or test execution list right similarly if you want to see only the test run list this is the report test set list is to display the list of test sets in your project okay and then test list lists is basically to show the list of the test cases so if you simply go to the test list it should display all the test cases in our jira instance so you'll see here we sim we can simply select the scope analysis and scope uh, and then simply apply and then the filters and generate that report and you will see all of the test cases will basically be displayed here right so there were three test cases in the overall project and those three are basically displayed and this is the final status right this is the latest final status of the execution of these test cases if we simply select or simply uncheck this all right and then apply you will see it will display the non-final status okay so this is briefly about the jira x-ray reports in the next few tutorials i'll be discussing about these reports specifically how to use them in much more detail in the next few videos of this particular series so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching